Welcome back to Next Gaming, where we cover everything newsworthy that pertains to games. If you want to support the channel, hit the subscribe button. We create gaming and movie industry content daily. Starting the show off with the tiny tidbits, Phil Spencer tweeted out that Microsoft has entered into a 10-year commitment to bring Call of Duty back to Nintendo following the merger of Activision. Honestly, I don't know if this plan is for a future Nintendo console or if Nintendo would possibly get a lower grade Call of Duty in the future. And do we really need that? I mean, I remember the days on Black Ops on the Wii. It was not the best of times, I'll admit. I would rather want them to wait for a Switch Pro or whatever the next Nintendo console will be so we can have a functional Call of Duty on a Nintendo platform, not a half-baked one, you know? Tune in tonight for the Video Game Awards. Show starts 7.30 Eastern Standard Time and 4.30 Pacific Standard Time. I'm not going to overhype the awards show, but I'm sure we're going to get a handful of interesting announcements, things we did not see coming. I've heard Tekken and Street Fighter are going to be showing up. We also have rumors of Spider-Man 2, so it's, it's definitely going to be a good time, and I can't wait to tell you guys about it with the podcast tomorrow as well, so stay tuned. The PS4, PS5, and the Xbox versions of Monster Hunter Rise will be digital only. I was actually thinking of picking this one up, but now I just might get the Switch version or wait for a physical release down the road because I'm not a digital fan. It's just not who I am. If I can get it in a physical version, I, I'm going to go that that route. So let me know what you guys think about this. It's just insane because it's such a popular game. You would imagine they would have Capcom would have put out a physical release, but I guess not. Final Fantasy Crisis Core Reunion has received its reviews, averaging between 7 out of 10 and 8 out of 10 scores. Picking this one up day one so you guys will hear from me and what I think about the game in the coming days. So that, that should be awesome. I'm kind of mixed on the combat system, but we're going to see how it flows. As for Warhammer 40k Dark Tide, those reviews also came in with the game scoring on average between 6 to 8 out of 10 scores. I've yet to play this one. I have it installed on my PC. I've only heard good things from friends who also have Game Pass, so I don't know. I, it, it looks like a good time, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Was it everything you hoped for? As for trailers, we just got one with Dead Island 2's official gameplay overview trailer. Game is looking really interesting. It will easily top the original, but can it outdo the Dying Light franchise? That is the question. The gore is looking detailed. There's guns this time around, and they have implemented a turn feature similar to Dying Light. So we're just going to have to wait and find out. It's looking really, really good. Looks really fun. I don't know if I'm going to pre-order yet. You know, I'm kind of still on the fence, but Dead Island 2 is coming April 28th, 2023. Alright guys, on to the juicy bits of the show. Sony's Jim Ryan has stated that they have resolved the long-term PS5 stock shortages, with them able to provide consoles for gamers in Japan through 2023. Honestly, this article makes it seem like there's no PlayStation 5s on store shelves. I can't speak for Japan, or hell, even most of the US, but where I'm at has PlayStation 5s in stock every day at my local GameStop. I haven't bothered checking the other stores, but I'm assuming it's the same. So I would just go out to GameStop. GameStop seems like the best bet to find a PlayStation 5. Seems everywhere else is online only to where GameStop actually has them in the store. Like my local one has, I think, four or five right now. You know, and that's that's just PlayStation. There's also Xbox Series X's and S. So I, I don't know. I don't understand the disconnect at where people can't find these consoles. I wish I would be able to find them. I bought mine months and months before they were even in GameStop, which sucks. I paid a little overpriced, but... You know, it's, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, just uh, check out GameStop if you guys are looking to get a PS5. You know, I haven't checked my other stores. I, I just go to my local, but I'm sure it's the same everywhere when it comes to, you know, if one store has it, they usually all do at least one. So if you can't find one, just, you know, hit up all the GameStops. And in the show off today, in a complaint issued, the FTC pointed out Microsoft's record of acquiring and using valuable gaming content to suppress competition from rival consoles, including its ZeniMax acquisition, the parent company of Bethesda Softwares, Microsoft decided to make several titles, including Starfield and Redfall, Microsoft exclusives, despite assurances it had given to the European antitrust authorities that it had no incentive to withhold games from rival consoles. I quote, Microsoft has already shown it can and will withhold content from its gaming rival. If I'm being honest, I completely understand Microsoft wanting to make Xbox the main place to play Call of Duty. You know at the very least but then you also have to consider you know overwatch diablo warcraft among all the other ips activision has in his backlog like i pointed out a couple days ago microsoft has halo battlefield overwatch apex legends all on game pass if they took call of duty as well 
I mean, that would put every major FPS game on Game Pass. That would make it a killer deal. I don't know. If this deal goes through, I don't know. It's it's just looking more and more grim as time goes forward, you know? However, Microsoft could potentially negotiate for just Call of Duty's IP later in July if this deal gets squashed. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is this deal going down or will Microsoft have to make some changes that will result in them just still owning Call of Duty after the fact? <laughs> Anyway, you guys, that's today's show. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to join the Wolf Pack. Peace.